Today, I'm going to talk about the latest update regarding the treatment of COVID-19. The Drugs Controller General of India, that is DCGI, has granted permission for emergency use of anti-COVID-19 therapeutic application of the drug 2-deoxy-D-glucose known as 2-DG, which is developed by the Institute of Nuclear Medicine and Allied Sciences known as INMAS and the Lab of Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO in collaboration with Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, Hyderabad. The drug comes in powder form in sachet, which is taken orally by dissolving it in water. In the latest press release issued on Saturday, the Ministry of Defense said that as per the order, emergency use of this particular drug as adjuvant therapy is used in moderate to severe COVID-19 patients is permitted. And the press release also added that being a generic molecule and analog of glucose, it can be easily produced and made available in plenty in the country. As I already mentioned earlier, that the drug comes in powder form in sachet, which is taken orally by dissolving it in water. And this particular drug is going to accumulate in the virus infected cells and prevents the virus growth by stopping the viral protein synthesis and energy production. So its selective accumulation in virally infected cells makes this drug particularly unique when compared to that of any of the drugs which are present in the market. And the clinical trial results have shown that this particular molecule helps in foster recovery of hospitalized patients and reduces supplemental oxygen dependence that is what they have explained in the press release. It further said that higher proportion of patients who are treated with this particular drug that is 2DG showed RT-PCR negative conversion in COVID-19 patients and the drug will be of immense benefit to the people suffering from COVID-19 said by the ministry. And if you see the history of this particular drug and the clinical trials, in April 2020, that is during the first wave of the pandemic, in mass, DRDO scientists conducted a laboratory experiment with the help of the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, that is CCMB Hyderabad, and found that this molecule works effectively against SARS coronavirus 2 and inhibits the viral growth. Therefore, the DCGI permitted phase 2 clinical trials of 2DG in COVID-19 patients in May 2020. The DRDO along with its industry partner DRL Hyderabad started the clinical trials to test the safety as well as efficacy of the drug in COVID-19 patients. And in phase 2 trials conducted during May to October 2020, the drug was found to be safe in COVID-19 patients and showed it led to a significant improvement in their recovery also. And phase 2A was conducted in approximately 6 hospitals and phase 2B clinical trials was conducted at 11 hospitals all over the country. And phase 2 trial was conducted approximately on 110 patients. In efficacy trends, if you notice, Patients treated with 2DG showed faster symptomatic cure than the standard of care on various endpoints. And a significantly favorable trend was seen in terms of median time to achieving normalization of specific vital signs parameters when compared to standard of care. And based on the successful results, the DCGI further permitted phase 3 clinical trials in November 2020. And the phase 3 clinical trials was conducted approximately on 220 patients that is between December 2020 to March 2021 at 27 COVID-19 hospitals in the states of Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. And the detailed data of the phase 3 clinical trial was presented to the DCGI and in the 2DG arm, significantly higher proportion of the patients improved symptomatically 
and became free from supplemental oxygen dependence by day 3 in comparison to standard of care indicating an early relief from oxygen therapy or oxygen dependence and the same that is similar trend was also observed in the patients aged more than 65 years that is what they have noted in the release and this is pretty much good news for everyone and let's see how this drug is going to be a miraculous journey in the COVID-19 treatment.